today we're talking about this motorcycle and I just want to let you know I'm in love with her. She got some sleek curves to her and she rides even better. You better not tell my wife. All right guys, 700 cc's right here, two cylinder engine, liquid cooled. Telling you from my experience when I rode this motorcycle, it rode phenomenal. It's got plenty of power when you're in sport mode and when you're in eco, it's nice and calm and you can have an enjoyable ride and enjoy the scenery. Um, I'm gonna let you know that you know, a lot of bikes you hear, they talk about eco and sport mode. Usually people don't ever see the difference. So what I ended up doing when I was riding this bike, and for any of you that do purchase this bike, I want you to give it a try and it will really surprise you. Um, I was riding, I kept my arm consistent on the throttle and I switched from the eco mode directly to sport and I got a real heavy lunge and it lunged me back on the bike. Um, the power is there. In about second gear, I was able to get up to about 62 miles per hour. Um, the tires ride really well. The suspension felt really good. The front suspension was a little stiff, but I think something as simple as getting somebody in here for the bike and adjusting the suspension for them, we could set it to their likings and they could enjoy this bike on a day-to-day -day ride. And uh, we took a look at it. We noticed these tires are not your regular street tires. These are more of a on and off road, uh, more street than off, but it does give you a little bit of comfort knowing that when you do hit some dirt roads, um, not sand, but dirt, that you will be confident in your tires and know that you will have some kind of traction, some kind of grip. Another thing that I really liked about this bike, it has self-canceling blinkers. And for you people that don't know what self-canceling blinkers are, is when you're riding and say you turn on your blinker and you take a turn, it'll automatically turn itself off for you. And another thing also, all the controls on this thing are really sensitive by touch. So there's not a whole lot of pushing. It's very small little movements. Uh, at first it was kind of weird. I felt like I wasn't pushing it hard enough and I felt like I might break something. But when you push on it pretty hard, they're pretty tough, they're built well. Um, another thing as well that I really liked about the bike, when we were riding, um, I've never rode a bike with cruise control. So I was like, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. So I got up to about 42 miles per hour. I set the cruise control and it stayed consistent and I felt confident the whole time I was riding. I didn't feel like I was gonna be all over the place or doing anything like that. Um, it rode really well. It handled itself really good. Um, turning it off is as simple as flicking the button off that's right here or just grabbing the brakes or even touching that throttle. Um, there's a lot more accessories about this bike that I really liked, also the seat. So the seat on this thing is super comfortable. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's wide enough for you to get your feet planted on the ground, but have enough support for your butt to kind of get where you're not going to be sore for a long ride. Um, so I'm not going to just tell you the good stuff. I'm going to tell you the stuff that I really didn't care for as much as well. So you do see the back pegs. So it is meant for a passenger. A uh, guy my size, and maybe if you had a woman on the back or a guy, I don't judge. <laughs> on the back of this bike, there isn't very much room for your passenger on the back seat. I wish they would have made it just a little bit longer. Um, a friend of mine, he actually sat on here. He had his wife sit on the back. She was actually hanging off the rear of the seat a little bit. I kind of wish they would have made this a little bit bigger. Um, there's a couple other things. The foot pegs, they have these thick rubber mounts on them as well. They absorb a lot of the vibration, which is good because on this type of bike, you don't have those regular street tires. You have these on and off road tires. So having that extra support on your feet will help and keep you comfortable on your day-to-day -day riding. All right, guys, another thing that I like, but I, some people will probably dislike um, the placement of the tag. So usually on your bikes, you usually have a placement of your tag here. They locate it on the back of the bike right here. I like it, but in the future, the problem is if you wanted to change your blinkers to something, you have to find something that works with this. Another thing um, I noticed with the bike, which I've talked to CF Moto and they are correcting it. It was uh, a problem that they saw when it was coming in. These tag brackets are me actually meant for European models. So like I said, I'm not going to tell you just the good stuff. I'm going to let you know the likes and the dislikes about it. The tag bracket on this thing is not 100% correct. 
um, you're going to have a difficult time. Anything that's US tag getting mounted on this bike, but there is means of ways to get it mounted for the time being until they send the correcting parts out to get it corrected. Um, another thing that was really nice on this bike, the shifting on this bike is super smooth. Everything was um, like new. That's the best way to put it. Um, the clutch on this thing, the slipper clutch, I tested that out. It works very well. Um, no issues there. A feature I did like, which you will see in the video, is the lighting on the front of this thing. It's like nothing I've seen before. You have your regular headlight and then you have that halo light on the outside. And the lighting at nighttime is amazing. You will not have any problems with having to add LED lights to make it brighter for when you're at those areas that don't have any um, street lights. Um, this is gonna take care of you. No modifications necessary. It's ready to go, ready to be rode. Um, other things as well, um, it does have ABS like we've talked about before. Now, you will see a video in the future, we haven't received one yet. Um, you will see the Sport model, and the Sport model is similar, it has the same wheels, but it's dual disc on the front and it has Brembo brakes, where this one has the JL1 brakes on the front and it's only a single disc. So, if you're wanting something a little bit more aggressive, that would be that way, that would be the bike you would want. Where this one is more for your everyday commuter, somebody who wants to have fun, but at the same time be able to go fast. All right guys, so now that you've heard everything about the 2022 CF Moto CLX, the price is only $64.99 with a two year warranty. So guys, you need to come see us at Adrenaline Rush Motorsport at 1901 West 15th Street, Panama City, Florida. 32401 and as you can see if that bike doesn't fit you we have many more so you guys come see us give us a call 850-874-2185 have a great day